Hey, my biker brethren, you ever wanted to stop kicking your bike over and just be able to poke a button like you have on modern bikes, but yet you still love your old bikes? Stick around. We're going to talk about that. <clears throat> so as you can see, I'm kind of sitting here hanging out in my garage and you get done working on your bike and I'm sitting here wondering, you know, I put this new Kickstarter on or kicker on. I'm thinking, my God, you know, all these new bikes that you see on these Enduro videos and Graham Jarvis and so on, they just poke a button and they go, you know, how convenient would that be if you're on the side of a hill or an inconvenient spot in the woods or even on a motocross instead of having to kick the bike over? Granted, I, I do like the old school aspect of it, but the reality is the modern technology on many of these new bikes is, is pretty awesome. So one of the things that I wondered was, you know, is it possible to convert an old school MX bike to a push start? Um, or when I say push start, I mean, the, you know, with the button and, the, or I should say an electric start. So, um, you know, obviously I did some Googling and, and uh, here's actually what I came up with. And uh, we're going to kind of swing over to the computer now and show you what I, show you what I found. So, as you can see from the computer video, I didn't really come up with much for my bike, but for the CR500, I did come up with a few things. And I did come up with a few. As you can see from my video, or as you can see from the computer search, I didn't come up with anything for my bike. I did come up with something for CR500. Um, here's what I was shocked by. I figured there was going to be some kind of um, maybe electric component that would come in here on the on the back side of the of the uh, of the kicker um, that would kind of turn over where the kicker does. Um, but as you can see from the from the CR five hundred, what we actually have is uh, let's see if we can move the camera over here. Too many bikes in the garage. As you can see from the video, you have this big honking contraption thing that really kind of comes over here where the stator is. That does not seem very attractive to me. Not one bit. It seems big, it seems clunky. I get why they do it. I know that a lot of guys out there who convert their 500s over to, to uh, supermoto bikes or they convert them over to street bikes. Man, that just that just doesn't seem very um, doesn't look very good. I don't think, or I can't imagine it looking very good on there. And on top of that, nineteen hundred bucks. My God! Wow. So I guess the question is, you know, what 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 can you do? And I guess um, one of the things that you could probably look at. Is the old hot rod approach take the biggest motor that you can shove it in your bike and away you go now obviously one of the things you need to consider with that is the geometry of your bike how old it is handling elements of the old bikes um, because obviously most new bikes the frames are built better um, I still like the old school bike it's you know I got a good deal on this bike that's why I got it um, and it was originally bought to, to ride with my daughter but uh, that's that's kind of the one of the old one of the approaches that you can take. Lots of fabrication skills that are required for that. Um, the other thing you need to do too, even though I didn't come up with anything, you need to take the time to to Google um, your bike, your model, and see what see what you can come up with as well. Um, and obviously, the 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 third thing that you can do, go out and buy yourself a newer bike. Um, you know, these things are not like 
tens and tens of thousands of dollars. So I, I know that the people work real hard for their money and they want to get the most they can out of it. So, but those are, those are your three options, right? So uh, until next time, my biker brethren and sisters, have a good one. Bosco, peace out.